Hey everyone, my name is Kendall from Move Bubble, and today we're talking about seven reasons to rent in Clapham. So let's get straight into it. So Clapham is based in southwest London and is divided into four different areas. So the first one being Clapham North, then Clapham Old Town, Clapham Junction and Clapham South. And the nearest neighbouring town or suburb is Brixton which is very well known for its nightlife and arts and culture and its vibe. Also a fun fact, Piers Morgan, yes Piers Morgan and JK Rowling, the author of Harry Potter used to live in Clapham at some time in their life. So number one, council tax. Clapham straddles the Lambeth and the Wandsworth borough. Now if you're lucky enough to live on the Wandsworth side, you're going to have the cheapest council tax in London because that's what the Wandsworth borough has. Uh, but if you're living on the Lambeth side, you're probably going to pay double. Now, it's not so bad because both sides have their own uniqueness and uh, give you different kinds of lifestyles. So it all depends on what you like and what you're into and what area you prefer. But if you do live on the Wandsworth side, you are going to pay far less cheaper council tax, which in my book is a positive. Tick! Number two, greenery. If you're South African like me, or Australian, or someone who just loves the outdoors, you're going to want to rent in Clapham. Clapham is known for having just open spaces, lots of parks, lots of greenery, the perfect place to do outdoor exercise, go for runs. Clapham Common is a wonderful park to just have picnics and have your outdoor summer barbecues. We like to call it a braai in South Africa. It's the perfect place to just have that all-encompassing lifestyle. So if you're in it to win it in terms of lifestyle, you want the outdoors and the indoors, Clapham is a place you're gonna want to rent in. Number three brunch spots. So Clapham is famous for their brunch spots. I am such a brunch person. It's the one thing that I've really been missing during uh, being in lockdown and not being able to go out. And it's probably one of the first things I'm going to do when we're able to go back to normal life, whatever that is. But Clapham has some wonderful spots that you all really do have to explore. And it's most definitely a reason why you want to rent in Clapham. I mean, Duh. So some of the brunch spots include Brick and Liquor, uh, Fantasia which is in Old Town, Clapham, Ben's Canteen which is one of my favourite places to go and Brickwood which is a really cool Aussie style brunch spot which uh, has an absolute vibe and it's just a really great place to be on a Saturday. Number four, transport. So if you want to rent in Clapham, the first thing that most renters will look at, other than brunch <laughs> of course, is transport. So Clapham Junction is the center of it all. It's where everything happens, it's where you've got your restaurants and your pubs and your nightlife and your day life and brunch, of course. But other than that, it's kind of in the hub with regards to transport. So Clapham Junction Station is one of the best stations in that it has a direct fast route to Waterloo. It also has a fast train to Gatwick and surrounding areas. Anywhere else you want to go in London, if you have a look, most likely Clapham Junction will take you there or it will be the in-between train of where you need to go. So other stations include Clapham North Station, Clapham South and Clapham High Street. So wherever you are in one of the four Clapham areas, you are good for transport. Of course, there's also buses and there's taxis. And because it's such a busy buzzing area, you're not gonna fall short when it comes to trying to catch a cab. Number five, coffee. Yes, coffee. <laughs> Since I moved to London, I've become such a coffee snob. I really just love to find little cute cafes that are quaint, that offer a nice environment, and of course make really good coffee. And Clapham has quite a few of those. So one of my favorite coffee places to go to in Clapham is a place called Story Coffee. Number one, I love the name. Number two, it's small, it's quaint, it's always got a vibe. Number three, their coffee is off the charts. And number four, they also do an amazing brunch. Another place that I really love and that has become kind of famous and well-known in Clapham is a place called Tart. They're known for their volcano flat whites and of course, their tarts. <laughs> so coffee is definitely very high on my books in terms of why I would rent in Clapham. So number six, nightlife. Clapham is famous for its nightlife. It always has something going on. One thing that comes to mind is the Clapham Grand, which hosts massive, extravagant, out there parties that always involve like a dress up 
or something a bit different. Whether it's like New Year's or Valentine's or Halloween, they're doing something. So there's always something going on at Clapham Grand. Other things include Jam Tree, where they do quiz nights on a Sunday. You also have Four Thieves, where they do comedy nights and they've got like crazy golf and there's your normal pubs that you can go to and just so many restaurants and so many vibey places. So if you're gonna rent in Clapham, you are not going to be bored in the evenings. There's gonna be so much to do and it's always gonna be buzzing. Number seven rentals. So rentals really are not that bad in Clapham. In fact, they're actually quite reasonable for what you get. Considering you're very close to transport, you've got a lot of outdoor greenery and space. You're surrounded by restaurants, pubs, grocery shops. There's every kind of grocery shop that you can think of. And it's just a really great place to live. Rentals are quite affordable. So if we're talking about rentals, what do we mean? What, how much do things actually cost? So an average one bed will be about £1,500 a month. A two bed will be about £1,900 a month. And a three bed will be about £2,500 a month and up, obviously, depending on what it is that you want and what it is that you require. So in terms of rentals, I think that's pretty affordable and obviously you're going to be at home a lot in London because of the weather you're indoors a lot so it's always great to live in a place that's open and light and available if you can find something like that and I know for sure that Clapham has a lot of places like that to offer it's just really nice to live in a great environment where you're comfortable you're at home and it feels good so a fun fact the Sainsbury's on the high street near Clapham Junction is actually kind of famous it used to be a horse tram depot yeah I know it used to be a golf cart track and it used to be a cinema. The Sainsbury's was built in 1996 and it's been a Sainsbury ever since. Another fun fact is that Clapham Junction is almost shared with Battersea and there's a lovely long road called St. John Street which has so many wonderful cafes and quirky little stores and brunch spots and it's just got such a nice vibe. So if you're someone who's totally into that and if you are going to rent in Clapham, I would be spending all my time in that street exploring, shopping and of course eating. So those are my seven reasons as to why you guys should rent in Clapham. Yep, most of it included food. In fact, if not all of it included food, but I guess council tax and apartment prices and transport in the area also play a big part in it too, right? Right, you get it, you feel me. Anyway guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Move Bubble YouTube channel and also download their app because they're doing some really cool apartment tours and showcasing some really great stuff. So that's it from me. Have a beautiful day and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!